Again, thank you for joining us for our April webinar, Docker Cloud Turns 10. See why 6,000 customers use this cloud document management solution every day. My name is Nicole Schmeida. I'm the marketing specialist here at Docuware, and I have a couple of poll questions for you throughout the session, and at the end, I'll moderate the Q&A. The main presenter today will be Mike Reno, Regional Sales Director here at Docuware. So here's the agenda to give you an outline of today's session. For the first part, Mike will introduce you to Docuware Cloud. You'll get to meet it see you know how long it's been in existence how many people are using it and how it can help you solve your business challenges now then he'll go into a live demo where you'll be able to see it in action get a feel, get a feel for it how does it look how does it work and then at the end we'll open it up for q a but first i have a poll question for you so if you uh, i'll launch it on the screen now you'll be able to actually answer this question we're interested in hearing it so the first question is is it easy for me to access the documents I need? And I can work with these documents from anywhere. So there's a few options for you. No, yes, other. Feel free to type in the question box uh, with your you know, full answer there. So I'm just gonna wait till I get a good amount of votes in and then I will share the results. All right, thank you to those who are voting. All right, let me close the poll now and I will share the results. So th these are some interesting results. Um, so looks like 30% of you said no initially. Uh, good amount said yes. So. We're hoping to show you what can Docuer offer you in addition to that. Um, you know, there's many features that Docuer can help you with your specific business challenge. And then um, the other major, the other remaining said other. So maybe you're not sure at the moment. You're kind of interested in seeing what Docuer has to offer. All right, thank you for that. Um, and with that now, I'm actually going to pass it off to Mike. So Mike, here you go. All right. Thank you, Nicole. Get everybody moved out of the way. And welcome, everyone. I want to take a moment and just set the stage and just take a pause, take a breath, and let's begin how we think how we can work smarter in 2022. I want to thank you for joining us today. I'm Mike Reno. I'm the Regional Sales Director with, with DocuWare. And we're going to introduce to you DocuWare Cloud. I'm going to introduce it to you as a new team member who's there that you can count on 24-7, who's working with you for you and your team even when you're not available to. When we start talking about DocuWare and helping out with your document processes, I want you to meet your new team member right on the screen. You're going to see more in depth in the demo later on how this process works, but I want to kind of give you an overview of what you're kind of seeing and what you're going to be looking at later on. DocuWare is a central hub which you can carry out the heart of your business when you can carry out all the consolidated scan documents, you can carry out office files, emails, you can put in contracts, proposals, any kind of company data that is needed for your business to succeed. Now these documents also revolve around different processes and you need a centralized location to launch those processes and also track what's going on inside of those processes. And as you can see on the screen, we have a mobile app application where you can capture it from a mobile phone and do any of your job resources from a mobile app application as well. But I did wanna wish a happy birthday to DocuWare. It's 10 years this year. And with a big milestone of reaching over 6,000 plus cloud customers. Starting back in 2012, you can see the growth has just doubled and tripled year over year over year. DocuWare has been around and has been the influence for a lot of major companies over that span of 10 years as well. Some of those companies you may recognize because they are big names not only in America or in the world. 
DocuWare's document management solution is what these organizations around the world rely on to securely house their documents and automate their critical business processes. They are able to breathe and relax knowing that their documents are secure, their documents are in the proper workflow, and it's that process running in the background to help them out to relieve some of the stress of that of the of document processes. Now there's always a process where you're going to go through and there's always a capture method and where we are in some point of our life cycle. This easy to follow guide will break down real quick how this really starts getting put together. It starts with the capture side whether we're going to capture by an MFP, a network folder, you're going to capture using email, your mobile device. Maybe you need to introduce web forms or maybe you're capturing from autofill PDFs. Once you have the data though, now we got to be able to put it into your centralized system so you can automatically identify it. You can use our intelligent indexing tool to automatically pull some of this data off the form and put it into the proper workflow, the proper filing cabinet, the proper verifications. And then once you have it properly identified and indexed, what do you do with it? Does it need that workflow? Do you need to access it from your phone? Do you share it with other colleagues and do different collaborations within, within the organization itself? Do you have to jump back and forth between programs when searching? Do you have to leave your desk? We're going to help manage with integrated applications to be able to search from multiple locations. And that's where DocuWare starts becoming the next level of productivity for you and your business alone. Not only are we scalable between the vertical and horizontal within the business, it's a very easy document capture process that can be automated or kept manual. You can do an intelligent stock doc storage. We can use our intelligent indexing to grab the information necessary in order for you to process your document. It goes through our, our workflows, which can be configurable to meet the needs of your business and what you may need to handle from a verification or a processing standpoint. All of this comes with automatic document retention. We don't want to keep what we don't need to keep, but we need to keep what we need whether it needs to be secured for long-term or short-term, we can help reduce that amount and keep that process simple and easy for you to know what's happening. DocuWare really starts building itself within your organization, no matter where we start. The scalability allows us to work in many different departments. Either we start with accounting, we can start controlling, or then you grow into HR, sales, R&D, and purchasing. There's lots of areas that you can work with, whether that be contract renewals, audit preparations, announcements, planning and budgeting, accounts receivable, accounts and invoice processing. Lots of areas you can work on to scale, the, scale your business for putting the automation in place where you need it. And the next part I want you to relax and take a breath about is not worrying that it's going to take forever to put together anymore. There's no more long implementations because DocuWare is going to give you the ready to use tools and solutions at your fingertips. And not only that, you can add on to your package as you grow. So whether we start with just basic storage and retrieval, then you can move into invoice processing. You can add electronic signatures to that. As you scale and grow, DocuWare is there for you as part of that solution, that team member who's always checking in to make sure you're meeting the goals and the needs that you put together there. Now, Nicole, we just have a real quick check-in to see if any questions have come through before we jump into a demo. All right. Yes. Let's let's uh, check in on that before we jump in. Looks like everyone's good so far, Mike. So looks like we're good to proceed to the demo. All right. So I'm going to wake up my system here, and now we're going to bring up DocuWare itself. Now, DocuWare itself is kind of what you saw just a few minutes ago on the screen. We got the same layout here to where 
you can see that we have our document tray, which is going to be a central location that we're going to grab documents from the process. We have our search bar. The search bar allows us to access our different filing cabinets that we're going to need to store and retrieve from. We have a list. The list allows me to build out results of different data that we put in when we capture it. For instance, on a date wise, if I need to review something for 60, 90 or 100 day, 180 days out, or if it just requires an action for me to review. The next area we're going to touch on will be our task list. Task lists are going to be generated through a workflow. That's going to come up here later on in just the demo how I'm going to show documents, specifically invoices, we can capture and put them through a different processes based on your business needs. But all of that is all nice and this is a great place to start, but it's not what you do on an everyday basis. It's something new for you. So let's back up and say, and stick to the task of what you do on an everyday basis to help you relax and feel more comfortable with storing your documents electronically. Take that breath that we need. And we're gonna start over here in Outlook. Outlook is the place that a lot of us play in every day. Now, I know some people are in Gmail and there's a little bit of a difference, but hey, with Gmail, we can still watch your emails and bring those in the DocuWare from a back-end process. With Outlook, we're gonna be able to do a little bit more deeper integration with our Microsoft Gold partnership that we have. What's gonna allow us to do here inside of our Outlook is we can integrate some buttons into our ribbon, our right click, which comes down to the bottom, or also we can have it into our folder structures onto our, on our left side where we're watching these folders. Now in each one of these, we're allowed to build what we call a store dialog. Now this store dialog is what's identifying the document we're gonna bring into the system, whether it needs to go into just a filing cabinet, does it need to go to a workflow, does it need to be shared with others within the organization? Is it private just for you and your in your repository? By using your, your store dialog, you can choose where that document's gonna go right away. Now, in this case right here, I am looking at a document that was sent to me with an attachment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to open up my attachment and I get an error message that I'm not allowed to open this up. I don't have the right license to open up this document because it is a DXF uh, file. So those of us who don't know what a DXF file is, that's gonna be considered a CAD drawing, an architectural drawing that's print, that can only be viewed by one program. Now, when I come back over to my document, I'm gonna right click this time and come down to my store, and I'm gonna store this for everybody in my organization. When I do, DocuWare is gonna come back and say, hey, I got a few more questions I need to know. And this is where we're gonna introduce the index data for you. The index data is what we use to store it by. That's what you use to kick off workflows. This is how you go to your filing cabinet, you open it up, you go to the folder, you find the document you need. This is the same method. In this case, we, just, we know it's a letter because of the store dialog we chose, but now we wanna know, did we receive this letter or we sent this letter? We did receive it. And because it's coming from Outlook, it allows us to go ahead and grab all this other information, become the Outlook email automatically. Next thing and the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put today's date here as an action saying, hey, I need this review today. Down here at the bottom, we have a couple more options that are available for us as users. And it's allowing us to say, do we want to bring our attachment with us or not? We can either do just the email or the attachment, or we can bring both. And this one, I do wanna bring both, but I want my attachment to be first. So I'm just gonna make that selection. And then we're gonna hit store. When you hit store, DocuWare is gonna to talk to Outlook and let you know that it's been communicated and stored in DocuWare success successfully. You can see by the little blue box at the bottom that alerts us. You can also program it to have a little blue dash here and a little blue dash inside of your preview pane as well. Now that's all good and dandy that we can store from here, you can also have it automated really quick with the watch folder, but what happens when we need to do some research? Instead of logging out and going into our DocuWare system and going back and searching that way, that's where these other search dialogues come into play. So right now I'm gonna run the same search for Mr. Thomas Rain within the system, and you're gonna see that Outlook is gonna open up right here for me in my Outlook, a new search dialogue with results. 
And it's also going to open up the very first result that it pulls up for me inside of a separate viewer so I can view the document. Now, this is the same document we just stored a second ago. And this time I said, when you open it, please show me the attachment first. And now I've opened it up and I can see this attachment of the CAD drawing, which, by the way, is fully text searchable. One of the first steps that happens when we bring any documents in is we take, make it fully text searchable with our optical character recognition technology, OCR. Now, you also do get some toolbars. When it comes into here, you got some tools that you can use. You can use some sticky notes if you need to put any notes on here for further review. You can also do any kind of highlighting of putting an area and marking it out and saying this is very important, and my notes refer to that spot right there. You can do that because these are just transparency layers and they allow you to make and turn on and off your notes that you put on your document. This is even true if you needed to email it out and send it, you can send it with or without your visible annotations or in just the plain old original format. You can also come down into your search pane and look at any other results that may come in. Note by the document type, you can see what you're reviewing from a proposal to a letter. So if I needed to open up a proposal, I could also open this up in my viewer from right here in this search uh, directly. And there is our proposal that was in DocuWare. Now, the other thing that we may do is work inside of Excel documents or Word documents, and we need to get them into our storage facility at that point. Typically, you would print it out and rescan it back in, or you would save it as a PDF and put it into your system. Well, you have a few different methods with DocuWare that allow you to do that. One of those is if you're one of the people who are savvy and you like to do the save as, well, DocuWare gives you the ability to go into your PC and have a drive for your DocuWare. You can bring up that drive and you can access your different trays that we talked about. and You, you can drop it into the tray that is needed for that to be worked on as well. Or another way you can come back into this is you can use your DocuWare print driver. DocuWare print driver will allow me to come in and do file print. It's gonna bring up my dialog for DocuWare print driver and then I can just hit print. Once I do that, it's going to bring it into my DocuWare system, store it into my cabinet, and then if it needs to be executed into any other workflows, it can. Now, I promised you that it's all coming into the system, but how do we go find it and how does it actually classify it and put it into what we're doing? On the back end, we talked about that index data is there and that we're automatically reading documents for you to pull that information off the, the form, the document. Well, right here, I have my proposal from Flying Tom. You're going to see that here it is in this form. And what I've done is I started filing it under my intelligent indexing, which we note by this little light bulb here, and said, hey, I have some fields I want you to start filling out automatically, and I want you to go get those for me. And anything that's green or red or yellow, I want you to notify me on. So the red says, hey, I'm really not sure if this is correct, let me know. In, the case, in this case, it said document number. It's really a project number, so we can clean that up and get rid of that piece. Outside of that, everything else will start falling in automatically. But what if it doesn't? How do we fix it? Well, we'll go ahead and take the contact name and delete that. And we come over and we see our contact is right underneath the name of Flying Tom Germany. I'm just going to use my mouse, highlight that, and it's going to drop it over for me automatically to the left. You can do that with any fields that need to be filled out inside of this indexing as we go through. At the bottom down here, we have the option to share when we store our document. You can invite people by email. You can have them send an email alert to their email box saying, hey, I'm inviting you in for this document to be reviewed. You can give them read-only access. You can give them edit access, which allows them to make markups on the document. We're going to go ahead and give this to Miss Peggy Jenkins and add her in. And then owner allows them to have deletion and other markup capabilities. Once you added the people for review, you can just hit store and it will store away into your DocuWare system with the index data already programmed into it. Now you're probably wondering, how do I find it? 
Well, with that piece working in the background for you, putting everything together, that's where our search comes back into play into our filing cabinets. Here we can have it set up to look for different ways if we wanted to directly out of our search menu. We want to look for contracts, proposals, or all our documents. In this case, we'll look for all documents. On the left, you can notice it's something very similar that we saw earlier today on storing. It's the same index data. As you store, it's the same as putting it into your cabinet. And now with that same index data, I'm allowed to say, hey, start showing me what's in the cabinet already. So with our little filter button right here, it's only gonna show me what's in this cabinet from a document type standpoint and nothing else. So if we do have 75 different file types that we are allowed to store, then in this case, all right, as, as I selected my invoice here, that same filter process is going to start drilling down into all of these other index fields for me. So when I come down to company name and do my drop, it's only going to show me the companies that have an invoice in my system. If I turn off the filter, you can see that there's two companies in my program called Flying Tom Germany and Leisure Park Mosier, but only for the invoice does it have Leisure Park Mosier. When you execute your search, it will bring you back the invoices related to what you were searching. Now, if we come back and just want to need to do a general search, you can also do that by clearing out your fields. Whoops. Bring you back over. By clearing out your fields, and now you can just hit the big yellow button and you can do a generalized search. The reason why I want to do a generalized search is I want to show you that we store these documents as, as in their native form as you bring them into DocuWare. So Excel documents stay Excel, words are words, PowerPoints are PowerPoints, emails are emails. That allows us to tap in and do different type of what we call version controls. So from here, I could come in to edit my document. And when I do that, it will open back up inside of Word. I can make the changes needed. And when I go to save it, I'll hit my save up here. And then when I go to exit out, DocuWare will know that I'm done making those changes and start bringing that document back in for me. And once it does that, now we've built a, a version control setup. You can see right here, let me make it a little bigger for us. You can see right here, there's the version I made of make changes. When I come in and right click on this, the version overview, it's going to show us that there's two different versions out here, and here's the blank copy, and there's the original copy. Now, as the owner of the document, I can right-click again, and I can say, hey, I want to make this the current version just by clicking on it, and now version one is now back to the current version. As the owner, you can control what everyone searches for because our permissions are not just in the cabinets, they're also drilled down to the document level itself. So that way, as it starts storing inside the system, your permissions kick in for who can see what documents and how uh, inside of what cabinets and, and also track what they do to them. Now, as we start storing data in there, I mentioned your list will start giving you little reports. And here's one right here that popped up that says action required in 30 days. When we do that, it comes back to what we stored earlier with our roller coaster. It is our CAD drawing, and it's telling me I needed to make an action within 30 days. I'm going to go ahead and mark my assignment complete by a stamp. So by setting a stamp, it's not only going to put a visual mark on the document to say it's complete, but it's also going to notify that I did my task, and it will start to eliminate that from the list of projects that need to be done in 30 days. And we're going to switch right over here to our other user called Ms. Jenkins, and Ms. Jenkins is our controller. Now, the reason why I want to come over to Ms. Jenkins is because this is going to actually give you a quick version of how the system is used in real time. I've already started programming documents coming in via email automatically for me, or I can also have a scanner do the same thing. But now you can see I have some different formats of yellow and green on the screen. Well, let's take a look at the yellow guy real quick because the, with our intelligent indexing, it's just going to say, hey, I found some information, but there's a few things left that I need to know, just like before. One of that being our company name. Again, one-click index, highlight it, drop it over. Add our subtotals. If we come down and hit our subtotal click, we don't have it. Whoops. We hit our subtotal there. We don't have a tax, so we'll skip over to freight, 
and we'll click. As you can see, DocuWare allows you to not do any manual uh, data entry mistakes because we're just going to grab what's on the document to make sure we're not making those manual mistakes. We're grabbing the proper data at the right time. And we're just going to hit store. When you have multiple green documents, you don't have to do one document at a time. We're going to make it more efficient. And we're going to be able to store these quickly because we've seen these before. You can see how everything turns green automatically. You can click on a field. It's going to highlight where it is that it's pulling that information from so you can do a quick view. Everything is good to go. Now we can just hit store again. And the next invoice or the next document, the next piece in the chain comes up for us to work on. Again, everything is green. Quick visual check, and that's the, all we got to keep doing whenever there's a green document. Green say we have seen it before, we know we're confident in the information of where it is, and we're going to start bringing that in for you automatically. You can see list in this case started building up, and now we have different populations coming up with our list. But the most important area that we want to talk about is our workflow engine, our task under tasks. We can program different workflows to work in different many ways. You can have it come in and do different validations, whether it's validation for contracts, proposals, uh, validation of a, a project, validation of an invoice. You can do uh, different types of uh, processing from an e-form. It's all about what your steps in your business process allow you to do. In an invoice situation, we can validate if you have your W-9s on file. We can assign different approvers, your geocoding, your cost centers, and you can HR format. You can do different personnel approvals, appraisals, contracts, proposals, verifications of getting them approved within a workflow. Lots of different things to think outside the box and how you can work easier with an extra teammate. Always coming into a final completion to make a decision choice. Always have a place on the left-hand side for that decision to be made. In this case, we, are, we in DocuWare does remember geocodes and cost centers. So, you know, not only do we remember what they were, but when you use them, how you use them, and that way you don't have to repeat yourself in the future. The workflow engine gets to be very, very powerful for whatever your business process brings. You can just bring to us and say, hey, here's my pain I need, how can we fix it? And the, usually the workflow engine will accommodate to your business process internally for your company. At the very end, when you're working inside of your system, you can still come back to DocuWare and search from any other system, whether it be your ERP, your manufacturing system, your, you can be on Amazon.com, Walmart.com. We have multiple methods to help with that. One of those being these three buttons at the top. See, speaking with tool sets and working with what we work with every day, we have what's called our desktop apps tool. When I turn it off, it doesn't recognize the screen anymore and those buttons go away. This is just one method that I'm gonna to bring to the table to help you search for documents outside of DocuWare. Once you load back into any screen and you have your desktop apps loaded, these buttons can reappear and the buttons give you the same approach of searching for what you need to find. In this case, I wanna look for all the contacts related to my Flying Tom Germany friend here on the screen. DocuWare executed that search and it's gonna open it up in a new window for me. Now you can see that I have these results and at the same time, I could open them up in another viewer to search and view those documents as well. But what if I don't have room or what if I don't like my buttons? Well, DocuWare has a couple other methods to help you. One of those being a highlight search. So if I came into my Thomas Rain and I highlighted and I did control alt S on my screen, you're gonna see that it executes another highlight search and now I get results for Thomas Rain. You can do that with websites, programs, anything where you want to search DocuWare with the word. You just highlight it and execute it with a key command. So as you can see right now, DocuWare gives you a lot of tools for what you do every day. And it's also going to play as that team number in the background that's helping you process stuff every day as well, whether it be through a workflow, whether it be through um, a form that's getting processed, whatever that may be, DocuWare is going to be there for you as that added person working for you on the backside. Now, with all that that you saw, comes a lot of responsibility in our end of security. And we've got you covered. 
not only do we have you covered in security with lots of white papers and lots of data to back it up, but also know that we're, we are protecting your data on a redundant basis. We store it in three different, we back it up redundantly three times so that way it can always be accessed for you. We give the performance speed within the, our data center that allow you, which is Microsoft Azure, by the way. We able for the recovery to, to be able to uh, delete configurations or recover those by accident. We're going to have you covered in that feature set so that way you're, you're covered for any compliances that have come around, any other ISO standards that you may need to, to adhere, and just the simple fact knowing your data is protected. DocuWare also is very flexible for you as a business. It's available in different sizes for the different sizes of companies. We can start with small with a cloud four. You can grow to a cloud 15. If you're a large organization and you, and you start at 40, you can grow to 100, or you can start at four and grow to 100. It's all about the scalability we provide with our cloud plan. Everything you saw today comes included with the cloud, intelligent indexing, electronic signatures, forms. You just have to decide how many user licenses and how much storage we really need to put together. And that's how we can start building your, your future for your Docuware application. Now, Nicole, I will hand it back over to you. All right, yep, thanks, Mike. So now that you've seen uh, an introductory demo of Docuware, I have another question for you that I'm actually gonna launch on the poll right now. So let me get that set up. All right. So now that you've seen Docuware Cloud, which benefits are you most interested in, most excited about? So what you saw right now wasn't, you know, not your only chance to see Docuware, but this is your first look. But you can definitely continue the conversation and get a more in-depth look. And we can show you, or your Docker partner can show you, customized features to solve your specific business needs and challenges. So everyone take a moment to select an option on the screen now. Once I get a good amount of votes, I will share the results. All right, looks like we got a good amount coming in, thank you. All right, I got, I got a good amount. I'm actually going to close it now and share the results here. So you can see, it looks like everyone's interested in all of the different Docker features that we have to offer. The most being, of course, the, the benefit of saving time, increased productivity. So whether that's cutting down on the time it takes to find a document or from you know, the beginning of a process to the end, just shortening it down, like every minute counts. So that's what we wanna help you achieve uh, when you use Docuware. So with that, I'm just, I have a few slides here I want to share with you. Mike, can you confirm you can see the screen? Yes, ma'am. You're good to go. Perfect. All right. So, you know, we showed you, we explained to you what Docker Cloud is all about. We gave you a first look, but, you know, don't just take our word for it. We have a lot of security certifications, and we also have a lot of user reviews, so straight from the source reviews of real people that use Docker every day on various sites like G2 Crowd, Captera, Gardner Peer Insights. So these are great stories, and we're really proud of them. And in the follow-up email I'll send later today, I'll include a link where you can read through them yourself. In the handout section of your GoToWebinar panel, there's actually a recent success story in there for you to review as well. But I like this quote that was in there I wanted to highlight. So this is a large, uh, a large company consisting of seven individual organizations in various industries. But what stood out to me the most was they have you know, a bunch of invoices coming each week and it used to take them about two full working days before Docuware to process all of that. But now with Docuware Cloud, they're able to complete all of that work in just two hours. So think of all of that time they saved and how they can redirect that time and resources to other valuable tasks instead of wasting time on things that could be automated. So I really like that, that nugget there. So as we end today, what's your next move 
you know, we hope you move forward, continue wanting to learn more about Docuer so you can enjoy that that lightness of of going to the cloud, uh, you know, saving time, maybe like feeling the weight lift off your shoulders and overall saving time and money. We don't want you to stick with the status quo and just kind of trudge along with the processes that you're used to. You could potentially be saving a lot more time than you think. And we don't want you to risk any compliance or security, of course. So definitely think about, you know, how you want, what you want to do after we get off of this session. And if you only remember just one thing from today, after everything you've heard, just wanted to say that Docuer Cloud is your new 24-7 team member. It's user-friendly, easy to use, secure, and always working for you, always working for you and your team when you are not working. So that's definitely something I really want you to take away today. So let's open it up for Q&A now, but definitely here's the different ways you can get in touch with you know going forward with Docuer Cloud. So definitely reach out to your authorized Docker partner and you can get started with them. To request a personalized demo, you can go to docuer.com slash demo or email us anytime at contact.us at docuer.com with any thoughts or questions and we'll put you in touch with the right person. So with that now, I'm going to open up for Q&A. And Mike, if you wanna feel free to turn your camera back on as well. So it looks like we have um, like a few minutes. Let me just get the questions ready here. So let's jump in. Um, someone asked, are the user counts based on who will be scanning only or also for anyone that will need to view the documents? Scanning doesn't actually absorb a license for that person. So if it's like a centralized area where you're just pushing documents in, no, you won't need you don't need a license for that. But on the opposite side of the person who is going to store it and retrieve it and edit it, yes, we will need a license for there. But as the system grows, you know, we have different models to look at as well for those read-only people that may need to be, to be approvers on the network. But in the very beginning, if you're just putting the documents into a document tray, no. The person storing them from the document tray, yes. Great. Next question is for scanning invoices or I guess scanning documents in general, is it an automatic learning process? In the very first step, yes and no. Our system is smart enough to recognize an invoice and it's going to look for keywords and pull that information in, but you will need to help it out for the first two steps. After that, then it becomes more of an eyes and ears, just kind of view and make sure it's okay, and then it becomes fully automated for you. Great. So you're saying like the system learns the format of documents that come in frequently? Correct. Yes. Great. And the uh, next question is, um, can I assign multiple people to a workflow at once? Absolutely. When a document kicks off a workflow, if it needs to route to IT, sales, VP, or over to CEO, CFO, absolutely the workflow can put it to multiple people to do multiple tasks at one time. You don't have to wait for one to complete the other unless that's part of your business process. Got it. Okay. Um, next question is, do, does DocuWare come with any e-signature um, integrations? We have uh, ties with DocuSign and another company, Validated ID, and with that, you can tie into their uh, methods for getting that certified signature that you need, whether it be uh, SMS certification, in person, or email verification. But uh, you can tie into both of those services. Okay, great. Um, and also, too, uh, again, this was introductory. We do have a lot of. Um, webinar sessions on different Docker features on our YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and search DocuWare, there's a, a playlist and we have different uh, sessions on e-signatures, digital forms, invoice processing. Every month, you know, we feature just different aspects. So I just wanted to point that out there. Um, let's see, next question. Can we scan a stack of similar document types that are multiple pages at once? Yes, absolutely. And would that be, would that go back to the intelligent indexing question that someone had before that it would learn? It can either tie back to intelligent indexing or if it's something that's going to be very common, very same format, we can put a structured environment around that too with our document processing side. So it just depends on how we want to capture it and what that data is, but we can still do it. Okay. 
Great. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have a few more minutes on time. Again, if uh, thank you again. If you need to head out, we will be sending you an email later with the recording. So um, a couple more questions here. Is the system flexible in terms of user access who can view different documents? Absolutely. Drilling down inside of our permission sets, you can have 25 people in the same filing cabinet, but out of that 25, only three people are allowed to see all the documents. So in, in an HR situation, we have the emergency contact form, and then you have all of your I and and, and all the personal information. The big three people in HR can see all the information, but maybe only your department managers can see your contact information in case there is an emergency. So you can definitely segment down who sees what document per filing cabinet within our system. Okay, got it. All right, well, it looks like we have one last question here. Um, is DocuWare configurable to my specific um, processes? Absolutely. Everything you saw today is just based on 30 years of experience. We can always have the uh, us at DocuWare or your, or your partner can have it configured to meet your needs. Uh, today was just the first step of learning on how the tool sets and what we can do to help you breathe easier and know that you have a friend in need with the in the backside of you in DocuWare. But there's also we can start drilling down and get very specific into your business with your Docker with your DocuWare partner or through a personalized demo. All right, perfect. Looks like that's um the questions we have and we are uh, at the 45 mark now. So again just want to remind you this wasn't the you know the only look you could have at Docker. This was just the first one. We definitely hope you continue the conversation with us, stay in touch, build that relationship. On the screen, there are different ways to reach out, you know, when you're ready and at what um, pace you want to do. So we're always, we're always open. Your Docker partner is ready to get in touch with you as well. Look for an email later today from me with the recording, the slides, and the handouts. And feel free to reach out with any questions. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And thank you again. We'll see you on next month's webinar. Take care. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.